Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. <laughs> this is the second session. Preaching the gospel to the nations. <laughs> I can pray for you. Come for You're okay. You're all right. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. The people are walking here. I am preaching the gospel to the nations. This is a powerful gospel. Praise the Lord. This is the second section. Today, I am very glad to say to everybody, Jesus Christ is a living God. God bless you. Okay, thank you. Any sick people, okay? Any other sickness, body pain, neck pain, back pain, bone pain, arthritis, HIV positive, cancer, disability, walking difficulty, okay? Any kind of sickness, most welcome. This is a healing place. Healing and deliverance. Praise the Lord. Yes, I'll sing you one song. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior. Oh, Daddy, Lord. This is my story. This is my soul, praising my Savior, old oh, Daddy Lord. Perfect summation, perfect delight, visions of rapture. God bless you. Thank you. Now best on my son, angels descending, bring from above, burn of his spirit, wash in his blood. This is my story, this is my soul. Praising my Savior, old Daddy Lord. This is my story, this is my soul. Praising my Savior, old Daddy Lord. Praising my Savior. Oh, Daddy, Lord, praising my Savior. Oh, Daddy, Lord, you're rich in love and you're slow to hang. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness, I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Blessed Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Come on, come on. God worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh my soul. And worship your holy name. We are going to pray to God right now, one minute. When the time of pray, let the Holy Spirit touch this entire city right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let all the people come and receive the salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray one minute to Holy Spirit. Let us raise your hand one minute in front of the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially the people are watching online. The people are hearing this word. Heavenly Father, let the Spirit of God move from city to city, from street to street, as a mighty power of the Lord. Any of the demonic activities coming against our gospel revival from the city, from this time, from this place, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out right now in Jesus. And also pray for each one of them. In Jesus' name, let healing happen, deliverance happen, 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just I'm going to read a few Bible words. Praise the Lord. Bible says, Gospel John chapter 10, uh, verses 1 on verse. Few Bible words I am reading right now. The people are watching online. Please share this gospel message. Okay. God bless you. Any sick people, most welcome. Okay. Any kind of sickness, please come forward. Body pain, neck pain, back pain, bone pain, arthritis, HIV positive. God bless you. Thank you. Can I pray for you one minute? Can I pray for you one minute? Can I pray for you one minute? Can you raise your hand? I can pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, can I pray for a brother right now? Touch with this brother right now, Father. Brother, listen, you have home. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare the home right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. You are getting home. Praise the Lord. I was preaching the gospel in the first month, couple of years before. Lots of homeless people, they were there. After my preaching, after my prayer, after a year, when they had been there, the same place, that all the people received the home. Praise the Lord. <laughs> our God is a miracle God. Miracle is our God's nature. So, people are watching online. People are hearing this word of God. Miracle is Jesus Christ's nature. Praise the Lord. Just going to read. Gospel John chapter 10. Read this one. Very truly I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep, then by the gate, by climbs, and by some other way, is a thief and a robber. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The people are watching online. Bible says, Jesus Christ is a good shepherd. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is a good shepherd. Do you believe? Today, I want to say to everybody, God bless you. Any prayer request, come for I can pray for you. Any sickness, come for God bless you. Thank you. Jesus Christ is a good shepherd. Praise the Lord. Who believes Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? You will get a right way to reach your destination. I'm talking about your destination. God bless you. Come forward, I can pray for you. Come forward, please come. Forward. Any kind of sickness, okay? God bless you. That's what the Bible says. God bless you. Okay. I want to arrange a little bit more setup. <laughs> The reason is, I know, preaching the gospel and distributing that tract, it will be difficult for me. All together in one day. God bless you, God bless you, Okay. Thank you very much. Today, today in this evening time, Pastor John is standing in front of the nations only for one purpose. This Jesus Christ is a living God. Praise the Lord. I want to read. Gospel John chapter 10, verses 2 says, The one who enters by the gate is a shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads him out. Praise the Lord. This is another nature of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ knows everybody, those who are in touch with God bless you. Does it matter how many number of people are living in this world? Does it matter wherever you are living? Bible says, our God knows very well where you are living, what you are doing, what is your mind, what is there in your heart. 
Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is saying, He is a good shepherd. What is the meaning of good shepherd? The meaning of the good shepherd, that means, Jesus Christ can be able to show you a right way. Praise the Lord. The people are living in this world. According to the Bible, every day we all are living in this world. Even if we are born again, as the first, we all are living in this world. in front of the world power. In front of the God power. In another words, satanic world cannot stand in front of the world God's power. Each and every people, those who are believing in God, I would like to say according to the gospel, each and every word, each and every word of God, it is written for the children of God. Who is the children of God? The people? Those who believed that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. And accepted. Jesus Christ is our Lord. All the Bible words, all the promised words which is written in the Bible. It is written for you and me today. Bible says, as many as received, that Jesus Christ has given them a power to become the children of God. Praise the Lord. I want to read one more Bible verse. Bible says, The gatekeeper opens the gate for him. The one who enters by the gate is a shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him. And the sheep listen his voice. He calls his own sheep by the name, leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on herd, a herd of them. And his sheep follow him because they know his voice. Praise the Lord. During the time of born again and water baptism, I want to say, I got the word of God to all the people. We all are born again. By the mighty presence of the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you are born again, by the Spirit of God, God bless you. According to the Bible, I can say very well to the nations that Jesus Christ can take care of your life. Jesus 
Jesus Christ, our Lord, is our shepherd. God bless you. The people are walking in the city center today. I can say to all the people, I got the gospel. Each and every people can reach a real destination in your life, wherever you are living. Does it matter the pandemic situation which you are facing today? Does it matter what all the situations are happening in your life tomorrow? That doesn't matter what all the situations which you are facing day after tomorrow until your death. Bible says the righteousness of the Lord will never get perish. Who is the righteousness of the Lord? Who is the righteousness of the Lord? I am asking to all the people. Who is the righteousness of the Lord? In the Old Testament, all the people, those who are believing that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. But all the people, they were the servant of the Lord. Come on. Come on. I forgot to call you. I was supposed to call you for you really keep a place for your church. Where did you find it? Okay, Okay. 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 Nice to see you. This is a God sent me today. Thank you very much. Come on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are standing by the mighty presence of the Holy Spirit. I know one thing to whom I am preaching today. The preach, today I am preaching by the mighty presence of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is the greatest power than any other power which we are seeing in this world. By the Lord. Today, Pastor John is preaching about the divine power. Divine power. Divine power means, by the Lord, the same power raised Jesus Christ from the dead to the life. Today, I am preaching to the same power to the nations. Does it matter what is your situation? Does it matter what is your circumstances? Come on, come on. Come on. Does it matter which country you are from? Come on, come on. Come to church, okay. Are you going to church on Sunday? Call me, okay. Please contact me. Anybody prepare a watch there. Any prayer request, call me. Okay. Thank you. So, today, I am preaching about the divine power. The same power raised Jesus Christ from the dead to the life. Who 
Lord is believing this Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. The manifestation of the power of God will be coming to your heart. Praise the Lord. This is an international revival meeting. I know that one. When I'm preaching this gospel, God bless you. Come on. Any sick people must work. Take it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take it, take it. Any sick people, okay? Anybody suffer, come on. Don't feel shy, okay? In between, when I'm preaching the gospel, come on, come on. Take it, take it, take it. Come on, come on, take it. Come on, come on take it. Come on. God bless you, okay? God bless you. Come to church, okay? God bless you. Everybody, in between, when I'm preaching gospel, I cannot come to your place. But I want to ask to all the people, I want to encourage you, okay, please come forward. Please come very close to me. You can give this six. You can take this gospel right. When you are taking gospel right, there is a salvation prayer which is written in the Bible, in the tract. When you are reading this salvation prayer, your life is secured in the hands of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I was talking about Jesus Christ is a good shepherd. Who believes this Jesus is your Lord and Savior? I go to the Bible, you will never get perished. Each and every people, those who are believing in Him, you will get eternal life, eternal glory, a clear destination. You can reach in your life. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All the people. Today I am preaching the gospel. This God can hear you. Come on, come on. Praise the Lord. This God can hear you. How many of them are believe in that? I believe. Because of this reason, I am preaching this gospel to the nations. Maybe you are broken hearted today. You have lost something, maybe you, in your life. Nobody will support you, wherever you are. But according to the gospel, I can say to all the people, this Jesus Christ will never leave you nor forget you. In other words, In another words, if you are believing Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, Bible says you are the new creation. You are created newly for Christ Jesus. Each and every people, those who are working here, each and every people, those who are working in the city center, according to the Bible today, in this evening time, I can deliver this word of God to the nations. If you are believing, this Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, your life will not get ashamed. Your face. I'm talking about your situations. Maybe you're thinking your situations are very bad. Maybe I'm maybe you're thinking you are the neglected person. Maybe you're thinking you are the isolated person. Maybe you're thinking you are the sinners. But according to the Bible, as many as received that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ has given an ability, a power to become to all the people as the child of God. Spiritual birth. Each and every people are getting the birth one more time in Christ Jesus. This is what Bible said, even though we are walking in flesh, we are living in flesh here. 
but our spiritual man is from heaven. Praise the Lord. Adjusted from the Holy Spirit. We are sealed and sanctified by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. We don't lie, Ji. Each and every people. Those who are working online. God bless you. God bless you. Each and every people. Each and every people. Those who are working here. Before your death, you can see, you will get an ability to see the glory of the Lord. The book of Acts, chapter 6 and chapter 7. When church got prosecuted, Did you accept Jesus? Yeah. Did you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Did you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Did you accept? I like No. Did you accept? Not like I'm asking. Ah, accept. Did you accept in your life? I accept in your life. You are the child of God. God does. Do you have any prayer request, brother? Do you have any prayer request? I, I don't know. Do you have any prayer request? Yeah. What's your prayer request? Uh, in Italian. In Italian. What's your name? Ah, Can I pray for you? Yeah. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, can I pray for a Christian right now? The Christian is a child of God. In the name of Jesus, can I pray? I bless the Christian right now, Father. The spiritual gift. Shita Taka Lati Regi Regi. All the spiritual blessings are declared in the life of this prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Come, come, come. Everyone, come, 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 come. I'm asking. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Any of the people have suffered sickness, okay? Any kind of sickness, don't problem. Don't you worry. Praise the Lord. This is the time to receive the healing in your life. Come on. Healing and deliverance. Praise the Lord. This is what Book of the Acts, chapter 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All the disciples. Apostle Paul, when he was preaching the gospel, he was healing the sick people in the name of Jesus Christ. Even today, Pastor Jordan, I am preaching the gospel by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. Come on, I can prophesy. I can prophesy. Praise the Lord. Today evening, when I am preaching this gospel, all the people, those who are working here, maybe the first time, if you are hearing this word of God, I know sometimes you cannot be able to believe. But this is a reality. This is a truth. If you are the child of God, I can assure you, before your death, you can see the glory of the Lord in your eyes. When the time of the death of Stephen, Acts chapter 7, praise the Lord, book of Acts chapter 7, when the time of the death of Stephen, Bible says very clearly before his death it is already written in the Bible that is the son of man is standing in the right hand of the heavenly father that means the presence of the Lord that means the full power of the Holy Spirit that means Jesus Christ is standing in the right hand of the heavenly father with the full of glory as a first as a living God Come on, come on. Can I pray for you one minute? Come on, I can pray for you. Can I any, any No problem. You have any prayer request? I can pray one minute. Do you have any prayer request? Sorry? Sorry? I love Jesus. Do you have any prayer request? Any sickness? Do you have any prayer request? Did you accept Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Did you accept Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? No problem. No problem. You have Portuguese. Can I pray for you one minute? God bless you. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for sister right now, Father. In Jesus' name, Father, fill with more energy and power. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I bless you right now. She thought that Kaludu, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Come to church, okay, this address. God bless you. Thank you.
Okay. You know the people that are in sickness? Very kind of sickness, okay? God bless you. I can pray for you. When I'm praying, I'm very sure the Holy Spirit will be by the name of, in the mighty, by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. Everybody will be receiving the healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. This is what in the Acts of the Apostle, chapter 3, Apostle Peter and John were saying, silver or gold, I do not have what, what I have. I'm handing over. I'm giving to everyone. Come on, come on. Come on. Take it, take it. The silver or gold, I do not have. Whatever I'm giving, I'm handing over to you. Praise the Lord. Today, in this evening, I can say to every, all the people, people are working here. Your life will get changed. Doesn't matter what is your situation. Doesn't matter what is your circumstances. Book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 8 says, Our God is saying, Our God knows your weakness. But in your weakness, you are doing something for me. Because of this reason, the Bible says, I will open a door for you. Each and every people. Today, I want to say to all the people today, praise the Lord, the people are walking here. The people are hearing this word of God. Praise the Lord. Our God, want to open a door for you today. How our God can open a door for you? In a different way, our God can open a door for you. Spiritually, come on. Physically, and financially. I born again in Baptist 2030. But today, I am the pastor preaching the gospel to the nations, to the cities, only for one purpose. I want to declare to the nations, this Jesus Christ is a living God. This Jesus Christ will never leave you nor forsake you. If your sickness, suffering, any kind of sickness, Bible says, by his stripes, you are healed. Everybody, each and every people are received the healing by the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus love you. Come on, bless you. God bless you, God bless you. Thank you, God bless you. Today, come on, bless you. Come on, bless you. Any sickness I can pray for you. I am the pastor. Do you have any sickness? Any other sickness in the body, I can pray for you. Any prayer request? Holy Father, in the name of Jesus. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this child right now. I don't know what's your problem. Relax. In the name of Jesus. Declare the healing right now to let go. Whatever she cannot do. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Any other prayer request? Okay. God bless you. I won't take much time here. Praise the Lord. I know when I'm praying, the healing power will move you. Healing and deliverance. Praise the Lord. In we are taking, when you are taking all the gospel work, all the disciples of Jesus, I can pray for you. Come on. I can pray for you. Come on. All the disciples of Jesus Christ, they were the fishermen. Come on. Some people, they were the dust collectors. Matthew. In the entire life of Jesus Christ, when you are taking, Jesus Christ was spending his most of the time with the sinners and tax collectors. The people, those who are rejected from the society. So today, I want to say to every people, don't estimate, don't calculate about your life. According to the purpose of Jesus Christ, I want to say to everybody, this is the will of Jesus Christ towards everybody. You have to live in this world with a healthy body. As a powerful person. All the ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, 
Are you on the light? Are you on the truth? Everybody. Each and every people. Where we getting? I can pray for you. A clear destination in your life. Praise the Lord. Again, I want to say to all the people. According to Psalms 91, all the protection, all the support, all the help, you will be getting by the angels of the Lord through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I want to say one more thing to everybody. Come on. Come, take it easy. We have a prayer request. Any prayer request? Any sick people? Okay. Any kind of sickness? Most welcome. I will be here a few more minutes. I will not stand here much more time. Can I pray for you one minute? Can I pray for you one minute? Stand here, I can pray one minute. Praise the Lord. I want to say one more thing to everybody. Praise the Lord. Maybe you are depressed people today. You are rejected people today. Bible said, Jesus Christ said, our God needs this kind of people. Praise the Lord. Rejections. Our God can take away from your body, from your heart, from your mind. When we are taking the life of the Apostle Paul, he was a rejected person from the society, from the Jewish people. But even though he was preaching the gospel to the nations, Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria, in all the places, Apostle Paul has preached the gospel to the nations. Come on. So, what happened finally? Apostle Paul, he was the person. But even though he was not ready to accept that he is in the bondage of the Satan. He was writing all the books, Philippians, Colossians, Ephesians, all the Bible he could able to write by the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Even today, when I am preaching this gospel here, when I am preaching this gospel here, I know this gospel is the power of the Lord. Come on, come on. This gospel is the power of the Lord. Who are believers? This gospel is a power. This power automatically it will come and manifest in your life. Automatically will come and live in you. Bible says. When you are born again, the Spirit of God which abides in you. The Spirit of God means the Creator of the world is sitting in your heart. The Creator of the world means the power, the same power raised Jesus Christ from the death to the life, the same power is sitting in your heart. So today, come on, come on. So today, according to the gospel, I want to say to everybody, your life is secret in the hands of the Lord. Nothing to worry anything about your life. Through you, our God wants to do a mighty things in your life. If you are believing, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Our God want to do, our God want to spread this powerful gospel through you, in you, through you, to the nations. Promise of the Lord is there in the book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 2. You will be a blessing for the nations. So today, before I close this session, I want to say to every people, Jesus Christ is the living God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One or two minutes time, I'm going to close this session right now. Praise the Lord. 
the people are watching here, the people are hearing this word of God. I want to say, I can pray for example. I can say, according to the word of God, to everybody, praise the Lord, your life is secured in the hands of the Lord. I'm going to pray for this session right now. I'm going to close this session. Praise the Lord. The people, those who heard this word of God, let our God give the more multiplication and blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to close this session right now. The people, those who came and take this gospel track. Right? Maybe accept Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. I'm going to pray for this session. Praise the Lord. Before I finish the session, God bless you. I'm not saying. I'm very glad to set you in front of everybody. I'm very glad to talk, to see, to all the people. At least the people, those who are standing here, you are hearing this powerful word of God. I want to pray for you. The people are Stand here, raise up your hands, we can pray when I go to the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially the people who are here in this morning. Heavenly Father, thank you for your touch, already touch their body and hand, their heart and mind. What I get is gospel revival started from this country, Father. I pray for each one of them. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. In the future, I am expecting a great gospel revival from the city. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. Okay. This is our second time. I was preaching the gospel here. Morning I was preaching in the other city. Now I came to preach the gospel here. I am so much excited. Praise the Lord. The people are watching online. I want to say to all the people, share this gospel message to all the cities. So that let this gospel reach to the unbridged areas. God bless you. Thank you.